to what is the most important project or the most important topic for you to deal with in the foreseeable future. And you said that is truly the role that AI is going to play in our society. Could you explain yeah. why and why that is a big opportunity, but also seems to worry you? Uh, yeah, I think, well, I mean, humans have been the smartest creature on Earth for a long time. And that is going to change with uh, what's typically called artificial general intelligence. Uh, so this is, say, an AI that is uh, smarter than a human in every way. Could, could even simulate a human. Uh, so, uh, you know, th th this is something we should be concerned about. I think there should be uh, government oversight of uh, AI developments, um, especially super advanced AI. It's just, this is anything that is a potential uh, da danger to the public, we generally agree that this should have uh, government oversight to ensure that the, the public safety is taken care of. Because um, you feel that one day uh, the, uh, uh, mankind could serve the machines and not the other way around? Honestly, when I see people on their phones, uh, I think we're already serving the machine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like everyone's uh, answering the questions. You know, every time you do a search or add information, you're sort of building this the, the, the digital group mind. Um, but yeah, uh, it, the advent of artificial general intelligence is called the singularity for a reason, because just like a black hole, which is a singular, singularity, it's difficult to predict what will happen. Um, so it's not as though the advent of AGI is necessarily bad, but it's bad as one of the possible outcomes. And when is singularity in the, in the definition of uh, Ray Kurzweil going to happen? Um, well, I think you were saying he, he, he's predicting 2025. I think that's uh, reasonably accurate. Mm. And how can it be avoided that is then uh, more a threat for humanity than an opportunity? Is it a question of governance so that there is not too much power yeah. in one or in few hands? Or how would, you, yeah. how would you make sure that it goes into the right direction? I think we should have uh, a, a government oversight, just like we do. We have uh, government oversight and regulation of uh, cars and aircraft and uh, food and pharmaceuticals. These are all, uh, you know, there's a, there are regulators that oversee uh, these developments to ensure public safety. Um, and I think. Uh, yeah, auto, uh, digital superintelligence would also be potentially a public safety risk, and so it should be. It's, I think it's very important to for uh, regulators to keep an eye on that. Who and should own the data, data by then? I think everyone should own their own data. Like individuals should own their data, um, and it certainly shouldn't be tricked by some terms and conditions of a website. And suddenly you don't own your data. That's crazy. Uh, who reads those terms and conditions anyway? So. Uh, but I think it's just, you know, like we wouldn't let people develop uh, a nuclear bomb in the backyard just for the hell of it, you know. That, that seems crazy. So digital superintelligence, I think, has the potential to be more dangerous than a nuclear bomb. So yeah, we should uh, just, somebody should be keeping an eye. It's, we can't have the inmates running the asylum here. <laughs>